What's good everybody and welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I am bringing you guys just something a little bit different. I know you guys have seen my John Cena collection and you've seen my custom collection and I know you guys ha know I have a pretty large Dolph Ziggler collection but today I am bringing you my Seth Rollins collection. I'm not the biggest fan of Seth Rollins but I do like him and I think his figures are really really awesome. So what I'm going to do is start with the first one and then we will work our way all the way through them until we get to the very end. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, so let's go ahead and get straight into it. Alright guys, starting out first, we have Elite 25 Seth Rollins, the very first Elite Seth Rollins that Mattel ever made. Um, starting out first right here, I like this part a lot because it's not sleeveless. It actually has like that short sleeve Nike Pro Combat look that Seth was wearing at that time. And I like that because you can use this for Jeff Hardy molds. And it does have the gloves right here as well. And this vest is actually different than the vest that we get in uh, different Shield Elite Seth Rollins. And I don't think it's removable. Yeah, it's not removable, but you could cut it off, I guess, if you really, really wanted to. And this head scan I like a lot because it is different. You can act, you actually have a ponytail on the back instead of the hair down. And I like that a lot because it's one of a kind. You cannot get the head scan on any other Elite Seth Rollins. But it also comes with a table and ladder, which makes it a really cool figure as well. So Elite 25 Seth Rollins is probably the best one from that set. And yeah, the very first Seth Rollins, Mattel knocked it out of the park. Alright guys, up next we have the Elite 33 Seth Rollins, and this is the second Elite Seth Rollins that Mattel ever made. We're still continuing that shield stuff. We got the cutoff sleeves this time instead of the short sleeve, and we do have the vest with the shield logo right here, which I like. And of course we do have his gloves still on here, and then, um, yeah, spinning him around right here, you do have the hair down as well instead of the ponytail. So this one's a bit different. And the vest, in fact, is removable on the back, as you see here. And you can pose this thing around pretty good. I think this figure is really nice. Again, it did come with the Penny Tag Team Championship, which I do not like. But it is a good figure overall. Second ever Mattel Seth Rollins ever made was still a good one. Up next, we have the TNF Walmart 3-pack Seth Rollins. And honestly, I think one of these is the Elite 33 Seth Rollins because I cannot tell the difference at all. Both of them are virtually the same. Um, I really can't tell a big difference between the two. Even if I spin them together, even if I look at them at the exact same angle, they literally look like the exact same figure. I cannot tell. If anybody down below in the comments knows the difference or can tell the difference, please point it out to me and I will pin that comment because I have no idea what um, the, t the difference is between the two. But I do enjoy having parts, you know, for customs and stuff like that. But moving on to the next Elite. Next up, we have Seth's first Elite when he is not a part of the Shield, and it is the Elite 37 Seth Rollins, which I think is absolutely sick. I think this is one of the best Seth Rollins figures that Mattel has made. You know, you got the sick accessories with the Money in the Bank briefcase and the cinder block, and, you know, I think this attire is from Hell in a Cell 2014. I think this leg mold is a little bit too skinny, honestly, but, you know, you do get the entrance vest, and you do get the new head scan, and you get the gloves as well. Knee pads look great as well. And just everything about this figure looks really cool to me. I think that the only gripe you could ever have is just that the legs are a little too skinny. But I think Mattel knocked this thing out of the park, you know. I think that Seth Rollins will always have really cool figures. You know, his attires are always cool and stuff like that. So I think that the first Elite, apart from the Shield, was a very good one. Up next, we have the Toys R Us exclusive Seth Cashes In, Seth Rollins Elite figure from the moment where he cashed in on Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns to capture his very first WWE World Heavyweight Championship at the end of WrestleMania 31. Um, this figure came with the Money in the Bank contract, obviously, and the WWE Championship, which is really cool. You know, I think that um, it came with that terrible mold WWE Championship, but the figure is really nice. I think the gold did really well on this figure. It pops off of the black really nicely. And I think just like Elite 37 that this figure is very, very sick. And I hate that they continued that skinny leg mold. But, you know, this figure is really cool that it captured probably the most defining moment this far in Seth Rollins' career. So I'm very happy with this figure. Up next, we have the Elite 45 Seth Rollins from his 2015 SummerSlam attire where he fought John Cena for the championship for championship match for the United States and WWE titles. And I think this attire and figure is absolutely sick. Of course, you have the skinny leg mold again, which sucks, but the white and gold looks absolutely amazing. If you follow this channel, you know that I absolutely love white and just all the white in this attire is very, very cool, and the contrast with the gold makes it even better. The only thing that sucks is the lines on this entrance vest right here. You know, they're not 
Um, completely accurate, you know, they don't line up well at all, but you know you do have that new TNF vest that is accurate if you want to pick that up and switch it on here. But again, I really dig this figure a lot, and I'm very happy with the way it came out. We get a new Seth Rollins head scan with this figure, and I think it's probably my favorite one so far besides the new TNF Elite. Up next we have my custom Elite Fix-Up Seth Rollins figure and what I did was I took the Elite 37 Seth Rollins and tried to um, update him to his current attire that he wears now and this was before we were getting that new TNF Walmart exclusive Seth Rollins figure. So what I did was take the Elite 45 arms and threw those on there, gave him the accurate knee pads and I painted the black right here on the wrist tape you know, to give it that accurate look. Threw the shirt on there and then even painted all of the hair black so that it was completely accurate to Seth Rollins. But I think this figure did really well for me as a placeholder. I hate that I didn't have that new TNF Elite for this video, but maybe we can find it on a toy hunt or something like that. But I enjoy this figure a lot. It actually did well for me as a placeholder, and I guess I'll do something else with it when I get the new Elite. Last but not least, we have the brand new Elite 52 Seth Rollins from his SummerSlam 2016 attire where he battled Finn Balor for the Universal Championship. Um, we do have a full figure review on this figure. If you would like to see that, there is a link in the description below for you to go see that video. But getting into this figure right here, I do like the black and green contrast a lot. I think that the attire is really nice. We do get a brand new Seth Rollins head scan. And um, I think the green pops off of the black really, really nicely. And on the back, you do see the Seth Rollins decal there on the back of the entrance vest, which is really, really accurate as well. Um, the only gripe I have with this figure is probably the head scan is not the best. And the belt is left off of the uh, crotch area, so that sucks. But, you know, you could always paint that in there. But I do enjoy this Elite 52 Seth Rollins figure. Alright guys, that is going to do it for my entire Seth Rollins Elite Collection. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hate that we do not have the new TNF Seth Rollins Elite, but I will be finding it soon. I will track that thing down and find it. However, I did not have it for this video. But thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment on what your favorite Seth Rollins figure is that Mattel has released. I do have other Rollins figures, but they're all basics, and I wanted to keep it to only Elites. But again, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure related videos and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much.